Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to hit on today is I'm going to show you an excerpt that the media will not show you. This is the sheriff in Jacksonville recounting and doing a press release of the terrible tragedy that just occurred there, the heinous criminal act saying it's not the inanimate object that's the problem, we have a people problem. This is yet another sheriff in another locality pointing to the fact that people are the problem, not the inanimate object, and this sheriff held nothing back and he nukes the idea from orbit. Everything will be linked in the description box below and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on and send this one out because this needs to be spread. Now let's take a look at everything I'm about to show you through ground.news. Now this is a website and an app that I use to get a background information of what I'm about to share with you. For example, check this out. This is what we're going to talk about. The Florida sheriff reveals identity of suspect in racially motivated Jacksonville shooting. So the, one of the reasons that I like ground news and that I partner with them is they show you all sorts of information like this. Total news sources on this story is 77. That's a lot for only two hours. It shows you the bias distribution is some on the right, some on the left, and 50% are right in the middle. So it's an aggregate rating of 50% center. It also shows you all the outlets that are actually covering it and shows you the scope. Check this out. This is globally. Australia, India, and the United States. This thing is going global, and that's really key, particularly when you look at what we're going to specifically talk about. Now, there's a link in the description box below. You can get 30% off for about five bucks a month if you use ground.news slash Langley, and thank you to them for sponsoring and partnering with me on this content. But now, my brothers and sisters, I'm gonna show you what this sheriff just said. And again, remember, this is not the first sheriff to say something like this, something very similar, almost identical. I'm just saying, sheriffs are constitutional positions and there's a reason. All right, so the actual spot, Florida sheriff reveals identity of suspect in racially motivated Jacksonville shooting. Now, of course, we are going to talk about the Jacksonville tragedy, the heinous crime that just occurred. This is unacceptable. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, green, brown. I, I don't care what color you are. You can be a nine-horned three-toed purple people leader. I don't care. This is not acceptable behavior. You cannot target people based on who they are. That is not acceptable. That's just not. I don't care what you are. But, and this is a big but, that doesn't mean that you can all of a sudden assign because of people's insane and heinous actions a condemnation of all Second Amendment rights. In fact, this sheriff said it very, very well. You can have this be both ways. You can have one person be evil and guns not be the problem. Those two things can exist in a vacuum. Check this out. Well, we have to stop people that have bad intentions. Guns, is, the, the story is always about guns. It's, the people are bad. This guy's a bad guy. If I could take my gun off right now and I lay it on this counter, nothing will happen. It'll sit there. But as soon as a wicked person grabs a hold of that handgun, and start shooting people with it, there's the problem. The problem is the individual. Now, guns are a tool that people use to do, do, do horrible things, but um, it's the individuals that, that wield these things. So we, we are working hard to try to, to try to stop that. But in this situation, in this case, there was nothing saying, there was nothing illegal about him owning the, owning the firearms. So nothing illegal no criminal history that would have prevented him from owning a firearm so that's a 4473 that's an fbi background check that's a nicks background check that is universally accepted fact there was a background check and there was no criminal behavior to say that there was any type of talking point of the left that was fulfilled they, this always happens this is non-stop this is the way that this occurs you have a mentally ill person. We're going to get to that in one second because surprise, surprise, it pops up again. You have someone who commits a heinous act based off of ancient and evil ideology. And therefore, it's the inanimate object. It's not the ideology. It's not the person. It's not the criminal. None of that. No, no. It's the inanimate object. That's, the, that, that's what caused it all. This sheriff did an amazing job of illustrating that. It's the person, a wicked person, that is describing their intent, that is describing that person, picks up the gun, and it's a tool that they use. If he puts the gun directly on that podium and it just sits there, nothing's going to happen. Could not be more correct, but the media still pushes the racial divide narrative. The media still pushes the gun control narrative because it's the way that they split people apart and utilize, the, utilize that splitting for control and power. 
Make no mistake, this is not about an inanimate object. This is about evil and evil being used to perpetrate infringements upon the Second Amendment. Let's continue. I've got a few other things here because this, this is what we can't allow. We can't allow the Second Amendment to be taken from us because criminals use it inappropriately. Let's continue. The identity of the gunman who carried out the racially motivated shooting at a Dollar General store in Jacksonville, Florida has been revealed. Per our usual standards, I will not be saying that name. Human piece of filth. That's all I'm going to say. He lived with his parents in Orange Park in Clay County, Florida, Waters said. To our knowledge, he had no criminal or arrest history. So no criminal or arrest history. That makes it a little difficult to know that they're going to go do it. How would a red flag law work here? Florida's a red flag state. Not happy about that fact, but it is the fact. Now, on Saturday, officials said the shooter had once been involved in a 2016 domestic violence incident and he was once involuntarily committed to a mental hospital for examination. No further details on those incidents were provided. So we have a history of mental health, a history of potential violence. Does that sound like it's the gun's fault? Just saying. Mental health keeps on popping up in every one of these instances. And every single time you get one of these problems, you sit there and the media sits there and says it's all about the gun's fault. International media says, what are the Americans crazy? No, the, the problem is the mental health, which is the common thread amongst all of these things. But you can't control people with mental health. You can control people with talking about their gun rights. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.